All right. Hello, everyone. So today we are going to actually be making the traditional Liberian cassava leaf. Cassava leaf, authentic Liberian dish that so many people love and so many people want to eat and taste. So let's go over the ingredients real quickly. We have the frozen cassava leaf. We have our onion, red onion. We have our chicken. Now, based on the meat options, it's all up to you. It's framework, whatever meat you choose to use. But with this particular dish, um, we're gonna have our drumstick. Make sure it's organic if you can. All right, got a drumstick. And in here, oh, let's go to our rice first. Our par boiled rice. Brown rice, some people, they like white rice. So it depends on your taste. Over here we have our beef, we have our goat meat, and we have our turkey neck. Also, we have our palm oil. Typically I use the Nina. And then we have our Vegeta seasoning. That's all is being used for the seasoning in this particular dish. Other people use chicken su, um, which they call Maggie Q, and other types of seasoning. But for today, we're gonna be using the Vegeta. And also, we can't forget, it's not ginger in here, but our, we call it habanero pepper, but the, the word for it is cotch, um, burro, pep, pepper scotch bonnet i think yeah peppers yeah scotch bonnet pepper and these are it's kind of frozen but you can use one or two in it all right guys so that's the ingredients so let's get started and if you are new to this channel this palm j wellness fitness channel just go ahead and subscribe at the moment so any ingredients in any video that we have coming out you can be the first one to get it subscribe like share comment and we will see you soon all right so now we are here at the second stage of making our liberian traditional cassava leaves so now we have the turkey necks and the goat meat they are basically boiling, making sure they get done sufficiently. And it's all about making sure you check the texture. So if you eat meat in your household, you can have someone test the meat to make sure the meat is soft enough and it's tender enough and it's ready to go. And once they're done, you take them out, you put them in a bowl, like an empty bowl like this, but you gotta make sure they're done and you gotta keep testing them. Every 30, 30 minutes you test them. It takes a little time because those meat are pretty pretty hard and it takes a little time and then over here we're doing something similar but this is basically just being broiled um, we got the chicken which is a drumstick that was cut in two and then you have the beef so the beef are both in here they're basically if you will being sauteed and um, once they're done as well you take those you put them in this empty bowl you put all your meat when both of them are <clears throat> when both are done you take both of them and you put them in your bowl once all that is done then the next step will follow and we will show the next step when that time comes but for right now we're just taking care of the meat making sure the meat are cooked well and seasoned well they're both already seasoned and they're being prepared 
So as you can see, we got our Scotch bonnet pepper, which we typically call habanero peppers in there. And we have our chicken and our beef. As well. All right, so that is it for right now. Until the next step, we'll see you soon. All right, so now we are at this stage where all the meat that is going into the cassava leaf has been prepared. So you have your turkey neck, you have your goat meat, you have your beef, you have your chicken. Those are our main meat portions that we have going into our cassava leaf. Now, like I said, it's a framework. So if you choose to use oxtail or whatever type of meat you want to use, you're more than welcome to do that. But for today's um, cassava leaf, we're going to use these. And obviously all of this meat is not going to go in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to portion it, take a little bit of turkey neck, take a little bit of chicken, beef, and goat meat, and I'm going to put it in the soup and the rest of it I can save it to cook another meal. So you can probably get two or three um, servings as far as like the dish that you're gonna make out of this. So one can go, one portion go for this, and you can take two portions out to save for additional meals that you're gonna cook. So always use those method so you won't have to do more work down the road. All right, so this is the next portion. We'll see you. Real quickly, let's show you how the cassava leaf is actually looking right now because the cassava leaf is being, this is it right here. So now all of that, the meat that I'm gonna, I just showed you, is eventually gonna go in here, all right? The cassava leaf's in here. The goal is for the cassava leaf is to allow the water. Now if you see the water that's in there, it's actually the water or the, the broth from the juice, from the meat that just got boiled, right? So that's the broth in there, and probably a little bit more. And the goal is just to let all of that evaporate out. All the water you see that's gonna evaporate out. So once I get the water to evaporate out, um, I'm gonna put the meat in, and I'll add the oil in, and the other stage is gonna come back for right now. Or some people will put the, like the turkey neck, stuff like that, put it in right now with this. And I may do that and allow it to just, um, you know, water to evaporate with the meat in there. But either way, it doesn't matter. As long as the water is drained out of there, all you're gonna do is let it boil. You're gonna put the pot, the, the, the top of the pot the cover, you're gonna put it on there. You're gonna cover it, I'm gonna show you how you want it to cover it. You're just gonna speed up the process to let the water out. So you wanna cover it like this. And then it's gonna just basically, all that water you see in there, eventually it's gonna come out. All right, so let's go ahead and let it sit here, and we'll come back to another step to show you the, the next step. All right. All right, so this is the final, final job of the traditional Liberian cassava leaf. So this is how it's looking. It's completely done the food ready welcome eat okay the only thing now actually the soup ready 